chances are this is going to be a normal birth. The second children tend to come faster than the first. Were there, were there any problem, problems with Cameron? No, none. But I wasn't keeping a secret. The doctors had accurate information on me and the baby, and this time they don't. And I know that if something were to happen to the baby, or to me, that you'd want to... That you'd want to come forward, and I'm just telling you that I agree. Hey, if, if you're worried that something could happen, we could just we could just tell the truth now. Maybe it'd be better for everybody. I still believe it's best for this child to be raised in a family with me and Cameron and Lucky. So maybe we can just leave things the way they are, unless this baby is at risk, and then I would want you to come forward. I understand. Jason, I think all the time. I keep going over and over my reasons for hiding the truth because I can see what it's costing you to give up your place as the father. No, we're doing this. The decision is made. I'm, I'm not going to fight you. And I promise you if our child needs me, I will come forward. You, I will give our child everything you would want for it. Thank you for coming over. I know this was hard for you. So here I am, calling you with my panic attack, bringing out all my fear and angst. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to help. Somehow, it, it just always makes me feel better to talk things through. You. You're, you're a good mother. It's smart that you're, you know, going through all the possibilities in your head. But you are healthy, right? And the baby is too. Oh yeah, yeah. The last checkup said that baby has a really strong heartbeat. It's good size. All systems go. I'm due next Tuesday. Dr. Kelly said it could really happen anytime. Then you should just try to focus on the good stuff. I you know, like the fact that you're bringing a new life into this world and what a miracle that is and how amazing it's going to be to hold your baby. You put the whole box in your trunk. Okay. <laughs> I admit it. I couldn't stop thinking about you and the baby, so I decided to stop by and check on you. Lucky. No, I know you tried to get rid of me before. No, I just wanted a little piece of No, don't of deny it. My hovering over you was making you crazy, but this is not me hovering. This is just me asking how you and the baby are doing. Okay, you want to know? Yeah. I'm getting a little nervous. I had a mini panic attack a little while ago. Why, why didn't you call me? Because you've been giving back all these excuses to get out of work to go see your pregnant wife. I don't want you to have to do it again, especially when it's not an emergency. Anything that worries you is an emergency to me. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just focused on what I have to look forward to. Maybe Audrey can come over here with Cam. I just talked to them and they're already settled in for the night. What about Emily? She's working the late shift. Now you're hovering near the I'm just going to curl up on the couch and go to sleep. I'll be fine, really. Okay. Will you call me the minute you feel a contraction? Or, I will. Or even if the baby kicks. Okay, uh, goodbye, Lucky. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, bye. Baby and Elizabeth are fun. Oh. They're following up on a report. What's, 
What's going on? Why are you here? Well, I, I, I needed to see you, and I called dispatch, and they said you were here, but they didn't know why. So Elizabeth is at home? Yeah, I was going to keep her company, but she said I was hovering. You? <laughs> Guilty as charged. No, but I'm not going to worry because she is safe and sound, and that baby's not going to be born for a few days. <laughs>